and we welcome you to the Tarleton Complex Center for today's Reach 10 Men Basketball Tournament game. But before the game, we'd like to recognize those student athletes who won Reach 10 awards for their high level athletic performance this year. For the U.S. Alcahachi Indians, first team all region and region 10 newcomer of the year, Nevada Higgins. And for the Brunswick Dolphins, first team all region, Devon Engelhardt. <laughs> and now, we're starting lineups for today's game. First, for the number seven seed, USC Sakahachi Indians. Please welcome forward, very number three, Grayson Hurt. <laughs> number four, McKee Rivers. Number 15, Jay Chisholm. Number 20, Justin Baxter. And number 23, Jay Pantella. And coach for the Indians is Matt Lynch. And now starting lineup for the number two seed, Bronson Dolphins. Starting guard, grade number one, Nasir Lightson. And guard ring number three, Kevon Vanderhurst. And guard number four, Tyree Boykin. And forward ring number ten, Jacob Grant. And forward ring number fifteen, Curry Harvey. It's the Brunswick Dolphins, USC Salkahatchee Indians, as we have one half of the semifinal bracket filled out. As you see, Caldwell and Spartanburg both advancing in this Region 10 men's basketball tournament from Catawba Valley Community College in Hickory, North Carolina. This is the 2-7 uh, matchup. Second seed, Brunswick Dolphins, 19-11, and 11-5 in the region. Seventh seed, USC Salkahatchee, 17-13, and 6-10 and in the region. And... Hi again, everybody. Chris Shima, glad to be back with you for our third quarterfinal game. This figures to be the most intriguing game, maybe, of the day. As you have two of the hottest teams, Brunswick Dolphins have won five of the last six games entering these quarterfinals, including a four-game winning streak. Two of the last three Region 10 losses came at the buzzer, Spartanburg and Caldwell. Salk has won three straight, five of seven entering the tournament. And they mopped the floor with Brunswick back on February 11th, winning 96-69 at Brunswick after Brunswick won the first meeting. More on that as we're underway here in our third quarterfinal. Winner of this game plays the winner of our nightcap, Richard Bland and Wake Tech. Corey Carvey to Jalob Grant left it a little bit short. Great ball movement at the start for Brunswick, though. Into the forecourt, it's Kirk. Goes behind the back, now scoops it out to Rivers. Kirk over to Chisholm. Here is Rivers on the near side of your screen looking for the alley-oop, but nobody's home. In the first two meetings, so I mentioned uh, the first or the most recent meeting, 96-69, the Salk. Salk was 12 of 22 from three, plus 12 on the glass. Back on January 6th, Brunswick won 66-63 at Salkahatchee. Salk was 4 of 21 from 3 in that game. Salk again plus 12 on the glass, but Brunswick had 17 steals in that first meeting. Both teams settling in here in this opening minute. Kavon Vanderhorst, one of the hottest players in Region 10, gets it to Boykin on the left wing. Boykin stops, pops. Comes up short, saved by Carvey, out to Boykin, but the shot clock is out, I would think. I think that'd be a shot clock violation. Officials are going to talk about it. Well, they called a foul, I believe, on Salkahatchee. Brunswick needs somebody to inbound. Jaleb Grant finally obliges. 
Dolphins shooting a season-best 55% from the field in three March games and 47% from three. Also the best rebounding game per month at 40.3. 57% in the last two games. It's a steal, though, by Rivers. Bounce pass is off the mark, and Brunswick did not touch it, so ball goes back to the Dolphins. Salkahatchee is 5-2 and two closing the regular season, had lost 5 of 7 prior to that. They started 10-6, uh, and six, but they went 0-4 in Region 10 play. But, boy, they have come on in a big way. This is not your normal 2-7 matchup. Kavon Vanderhorst buries the jumper, puts the Dolphins on the board first. Vanderhorst, 15.5 points per ball game in the last four Region 10 games, and then Makai Rivers comes back and ties us at two. Rivers averaging 10.4 a game. Vanderhorst swings, extra pass, Blackston to Boykin, back to Nasir Blackston, corner three, no good. Jalo Grant the rebound. Grant, nifty footwork, got it to go. So Grant with his first two. If you're not familiar with Brunswick, they're, both of their front line is going D1 already. Grant and Carvey have both made their commitments to D1 institutions. Down low, somehow he gathered himself, but Baxter couldn't get the bucket. One of the best shooters in the NJCAA, Justin Baxter, 64%, comes up empty on his first. So Dolphins turn it over. We're two and a half minutes into this quarter final. Brunswick leads four to two. Rivers to Cancella. Jaden Cancella goes behind the back. Baxter. Now Chisholm facing some pressure. Shot clock winding down, got a hoist, he does, and misses. Nice defense here for Brunswick. Vanderhorst to Boykin, back to Kavon, pass off the mark, it's deflected. Here comes Salkahatchee. It's Rivers, turns on the Jets, the reverse no, but he's fouled. Kai Rivers, 71% free throw shooter, going to shoot some free throws here on the first foul of the game. USC Salkahatchee has eight players from overseas, four from Australia, two from England, one from Costa Rica, and one from Germany. Let's see what time it is. It's about 8 a.m. in Australia, so they should just be getting in from their fosters. <laughs> hey, can somebody... Uh, in, in Australia, can you all keep me updated on the WNBL finals, please? Rivers gets the first free throw to go. He can tie us up again. And he does. So Rivers has all four for Salkahatchee. We're tied for the second time here in the early going. WNBL is the women's league there and get a lot of WNBA players. It's a really good league. And uh, we can watch it here on YouTube. They stream it on the FIBA YouTube channel in the States. So I always watch it on Saturday nights. But the finals are like 6 a.m. here. And if I'm up at 6 a.m., something's gone horribly right or horribly wrong. So I'm not going to be able to see it. So Aussies, I know you're out there watching this game at 8 a.m. local time. Help a brother out. Blackston buries the three. So Dolphins 6-4 to four now. Here's Kirk. Grayson Kirk, now Cancella, hands it off to Kirk. Salk just playing around the perimeter here in the opening minutes, finding the open Cancella for three, missed it short, Grant's got the rebound. So if you're a Dolphins fan, you want Salk missing those threes. They were real comfortable the last time these two teams met. That's gonna be no basket, by the way. Corey Carvey fouled on the floor. By the way, I mentioned Carvey and Grant going D1. Carvey will play at Moorhead State next year. Jaleb Grant at Wingate. We'll have more on that here in just a little bit. Boykin to Kavon Vanderhorst. Man defense right now for the Indians of Salkahatchee. That's an illegal screen there set by Corey Carvey. Carvey missed a lot of action. 
He was out from the Wake Tech Classic until just the uh, last couple of games ago, really over the last few weeks he's worked himself back into the lineup. So good to see him healthy. Rivers into the front court for Salk. They trail six to four. Kirk takes it to the corner, bounce pass down low. Baxter, nifty footwork, got the reverse. Justin Baxter, as I mentioned, 64% from the field. We are tied for the third time at six. Carvey, Boykin, step back, triple try. Yes, for Tyree Boykin. Boykin, 39% from three in three March games, almost 13 points per game, 59% shooting, 57% from three and 2.3 steals per game. He's hot at the right time. Puts Brunswick, I guess a foot was on the line. It says eight to six. So not a three, it was a two. As Kinsella answers right back to tie us for the fourth time already here in this game. It's been a fun five minutes so far. We expected this one to be a good one. So far it's living up to that. First meeting came down to three points. Turn around by Carvey, no good. Rebound by Kirk. Grayson Kirk goes behind the back, into the circle, into the lane. Around two defenders and scores. What a play by Grayson Kirk to put Salkahatchee up for the first time here today. We have a timeout. We'll take it with them. Come back here in just a moment. It's time to redefine what it means to be a college student. At Catawba Valley Community College, Red Hawks do more than learn. They explore, embark, and excel. Take charge of your academics close to home. Seek new talents. Capture your degree from every angle. And build the education you've always wanted. When it comes down to it, why walk when you can soar? Raise your standards. Visit cvcc.edu to learn more. Discover the CBCC Alexander Complex, your gateway to college in Taylorsville, North Carolina. The CBCC experience knows no bounds. It's education that reaches you no matter where you are. With several associate degree programs and continuing education opportunities, you can unlock the full potential of Catawba Valley at the Alexander Complex. This is higher education close to home. Visit cbcc.edu to start your journey. 14.38 to go in a 10-8 Salkahatchee lead over Brunswick. Chris Scheman back here from the home studio in Cleveland, Ohio. Glad to be with you for this Region 10 tournament. Big shout out to Nick and Cody and everybody at Catawba Valley for inviting me to do this for the second straight year. Our little corner of the world has some national attention courtesy of Salkahatchee and its head coach Matt Lynch. They were featured in a New York Times article. You know, I talked to Matt Lynch on Monday, and you would think he would have mentioned, oh, by the way, Chris, there's this article that's literally coming out today in the New York Times, by the way, if you want to make your prep work a little bit easier. No, he, he didn't mention anything. Matt Lynch is not that kind of guy. In fact, when I talked to Matt Lynch this week, all he wanted to do was praise Walter Shaw. He had so many good things to say about Walter Shaw and the kind of guy he is. Of course, everybody, I've been with Brunswick for seven years. I'm sure at least half of you are Dolphins fans. You already know this. Walter Shaw puts his players above his program. And uh, that was one of the things that Matt Lynch was uh, complimenting him on, especially at the JUCO level. That's not always the case. <laughs> We're held up here at the scorer's table, so I'll just tell you a little bit about this New York Times article. It followed Salkahatchee and um, Coach Lynch taking over the program. I guess him and his family almost had to rebuild the, uh, the locker room. Is that correct? If his family is out there, I don't know. Maybe they're down there in North Carolina in person. But if you guys are out there, there's a link to my website in the description of this video. If you have pictures of that, Get, I'd love to text me some pictures. I'll put them up on the second half. I, I'm so curious because I guess this New York Times article on Salkahatchee went into a whole bunch of things. But, uh, you know, just kind of talk about, I guess his family came down and helped him paint and 
basically rip the carpet out. It's a really wonderful article and a really good read on what small college athletics is and a first-year coach who's making history in the process and what that season has been like for him, for his players, for all of the players who came from overseas. I can only imagine what they think, what they thought when they landed in Allendale and Salkahatchee. So I don't know what exactly is going on here, but I've said all I wanted to say about the New York Times article. Go read it at halftime if you can. Something at the scorer's table has us held up here for quite a bit, so we're going to go away for another timeout, and we'll come back when they're back to live action. All right, we are back to live action finally. 14.33 left to play. So they changed. Okay, I think I know what the issue was. Tyree Boykin, remember how he said they hit a, he had a three? Well, they only gave him two. I was pretty sure that was a three. So if you notice the bottom left of your scoreboard there, now Brunswick on the left-hand side has nine. And I think that's what the conversation was, is J.L. Grant can't get the face-up jumper to go. Into the forecourt. Chisholm gets it back from Rivers. Dolphins playing man defense right now. Kirk on the left wing. Skies it down low. Somehow got that to Chisholm. What a fadeaway, but he came up short. Nice defense there for the Dolphins, who made a couple changes. One of the hottest players for Brunswick, Cam Oates, and Nick Burns both in the backcourt now. As Carvey misses, rebound controlled by Baxter. Here comes Rivers pushing the tempo. Rivers to the hoop. And nice defense there by Burns first and then by Oates as Boykin attacks, has his shot blocked. Change for Salkahatchee. One of the Aussies is in. It's Navarta Higgins. The newcomer of the year, first team all region player coming off the bench for Coach Lynch. 13.4 points per ball game on the year, 52% shooter, 40% from three. And I mentioned Cam Oates in his last five games, averaging 16.6 .6 points per ball game. He's got it in the corner, drives baseline, got cut off, found Carvey, puts it off the glass, no. Uh, Tyree Bracey is also in for Brunswick. The bank shot comes up short by Kirk. Offensive rebound by Rivers, he'll back it out. Now to Higgins, don't want to leave him alone, and he rims in a triple for Salkahatchee. So they take a four-point lead, Navarta Higgins off the bench. Do not leave the 40% shooter open if you're the Dolphins. Four-point lead, here is Oates off the back iron, no. Ball deflected to Bracey, his put back no. Dolphins cooling off a bit. Baxter with the rebound. O'Neal is in the game. So number six is Tyler O'Neill. Kirk remains in. I mentioned Higgins on the cut, the reverse, no. Put back up and in, though, by Baxter. Justin Baxter's second field goal. The local product from South Carolina, averaging close to 12 points per ball game and 8.2 rebounds. Told you about his field goal shooting. Burns for three, can't get it to go. Cam Oates got the rebound. He'll attack and score. So Cam Oates, who is looking for his offense, more down the stretch. I mentioned 16.6 .6 a game, 83 points in the last five games, shooting 61% from the field, 55% from three. He is also averaging excuse me, 5.3 assists per game. Oates rips it away as Baxter misses. Oates hesitates, attacks, bank no, but he's fouled. So Cam Oates will go to the free throw line. Both teams with two team fouls. And uh, we're going to have another timeout. 11.45 left to go. Dolphins will try to close the gap at the free throw line when we come back. 
Where does education take you? Catawba Valley Community College offers premier community development and public services education. Train on industry standard equipment or take part in live scenarios with EMS and fire safety training. Our aspiring teachers can start their teaching degree with early childhood education programs. If you're a creative, come explore our cosmetology center, where your aesthetic talents will go far. Apply now. Visit cbcc.edu to learn more. Change the game with your technical degree. At Catawba Valley Community College, you can go beyond the textbook and learn in the innovative workforce solutions complex. We have spaces for welding labs, automotive systems, computer integrated machining, advertising and graphic design. There's no limit to what's possible at Red Hawk Nation. It's time to earn your technical degree. Apply today. Visit cvcc.edu to learn more. The Ready, Set, Soar Open House is back at Catawba Valley Community College. At the CVCC Open House, you can explore degree programs that are fit for your unique goals. You can find your place in Red Hawk Nation. And while you're here, you'll be able to meet with college staff, discussing topics like financial aid, student resources, and how to make the most of a degree plan at CVCC. Last year was great. This year will be even better. Together, we can make your talents shine. Come to the CVCC Ready, Set, Soar Open House on March 23rd. Catawba Valley Community College, site of the Region 10 Tournament. Chris Sheeman with you. Cam Oates at the free throw line. It's seven-seeded USC Sulkahatchee leading two-seeded Brunswick. 15 to 12 now as Oates gets the first free throw. 69% free throw shooter, Cam Oates. Gave you all his hot numbers in the last five games. And 19 in the last game for the Dolphins, a tune-up game against a, a post-grad school. One out of two at the line. We've had four ties already. That came very early on. Two to two, four to four, six to six, and eight to eight. Salk has led by as many as four. Dolphins by two. Higgins, the step back contested three. And nice defense there by Bracey. Maybe a rush shot there by Higgins as well. It's Vanderhorst left of the lane. Step back, jumper, in and out. Rebound controlled by Baxter. A nice box out there by Justin Baxter. Double doubles in three straight games, Justin Baxter. O'Neal had it stripped. And here comes Brunswick. We've played nine minutes. Brunswick trying to cut the deficits. Neither team really free-flowing in the offense, but Vanderhorst with a hard-earned bucket for the Dolphins. His second of the game. And we have a reach on Brunswick. It'll be team foul number three. Looks like most of the fans chatting on the YouTube chat are Salk fans. Somebody's got to have some pictures for me for this in the second half. Rivers to Higgins. Rivers now left wing. Catch, shoot, triple, no good by O'Neal, and it's out of bounds off Brunswick. So we'll stay on this side of the floor with 10.30 remaining here in this opening half. Our third quarter final, first of the evening session, we'll have the 3-6 uh, matchup. How about Wake Tech in its first year getting that number three seed? Adam Wainwright has his team playing well. Richard Bland, the number six seed. Higgins fakes the handoff, then threads it to Rivers. Couldn't get the shot. Jaleb Grant the rebound. Boykin, Vanderhorst, Grants, Oates, and Bracey, the five for Brunswick. Higgins and Rivers with Baxter and O'Neal. And now number 15, Jai Chisholm back in the game as Tyree Bracey buries a three. Dolphins back on top. That's our first lead change. Bracey 35% from three. Rivers looking to go to work. Instead, it's out to O'Neal. Shot clock inside single digits. O'Neal had trouble with it, and it was taken away by Boykin, then a reach. Thank you. 
Both teams with three team fouls. Salkahatchee in its last seven games shooting 49% from the field. Another change for Brunswick. Looks like uh, Boykin goes out. And I think that's Nasir Blackston who's back in the game. Kinsella returns. So does Grayson Kirk for Salk. Cam Oates over to Blackston, left wing. Here's Oates, Nasir Blackston. Jalen Grant the reverse, it was blocked, stays with it, left it too long, and the rebound by Chisholm. And then they throw it away. I think Higgins got credit with that block for Salkahatchee. It's Dolphins 17, Indians 15. Both of these teams among the nation's leaders in assists per game. Everybody touches the ball, as you see on just about every possession. Nasir Blackston open look. No good on the triple try. Rebound controlled by Salk. Kirk loses it. It's a steal. Vanderhorst to the hoop. No, but he's fouled. Kavon Vanderhorst will go to the free throw line on the fourth team foul on Salkahatchee. Vanderhorst in the last four Region 10 games, I told you he's averaging 15 and a half points per ball game. He's got five now with the first free throw. Shooting 53% from the field, 25 of 47, and 28 total assists in the last four games, averaging seven assists per game. It's up to six points here. Gives Brunswick its biggest lead. Both teams have led by as many as four in a game that's had one lead change in four ties. 8.47 to go until halftime. Kirk across midcourt with it, hounded by Oates. Higgins hit a three right off the bench. He scoops it over to Kinsella. His pass deflected by Jaleb Grant, ran out of real estate. It'll stay with Salkahatchee. But you see the Dolphins bench liking the energy defensively. Now Baxter is out, and it's uh, Reese Grocott from England. Hand off to Kirk. Kirk trying to split defenders, kept the dribble somehow. Had to beat the buzzer, couldn't do it. And then on the rebound, I think Jaleb Grant called for a, a push. Cancella with the hustle play for Salk. So Jaleb Grant picks up his second. Foul trouble has been a problem at various moments this season for Jaleb Grant. Corey Carvey back in for him. And Kirk to inbound it. Cancella. Into the lane, puts it up too strong, put back again. Kirk, no, but he's foul. So we're starting to see some hustle plays go to the way of Salkahatchee here in this first half. Grayson Kirk averaging close to nine points per ball game. Oh, five assists per game. He's a 69% free throw shooter. Kirk, he's tied for 34th in assists per game. Salkahatchee has over 20 assists in each of its last seven games, averaging 19.7 assists per game. That's eighth best in the NJCAA. Rivers is also top 50 in assists per game. So two-point game. Kirk now with four. Dolphins no trouble breaking the trap there. Blackston to Vanderhorst as we approach eight minutes to go in this first half. Vanderhorst, Kirk deflected it. Kinsella to the ground, gets tied up with Blackston and the possession arrow will keep it with Salkahatchee.
Dolphins are 15th, by the way, in assists per game. They average 23 and a half in their last four games. On the season, they're at 19.3. Salkahatchee's at 19.7. More statistical goodness when we come back. Eight, uh, 7.52 left to go in this first half. A tight one between Brunswick and Salkahatchee here in the Region 10 quarterfinals. me, Chris Shima, glad to be with you here at the Region 10 quarterfinals. Catawba Valley Community College doing a nice job hosting this event. And uh, you saw my Instagram handle. It's also the same on Twitter or X or whatever stupid thing it's called. Um, after each game for the winning team, there'll be full game highlights. Uh, again, that's for the winning team. So if your team wins, you can give me a follow on Instagram or on Twitter and uh, you can get those updates as they come in. Right now, it's the Dolphins by two. Brunswick 19, Salkahatchee 17. Kirk attacks, scoop no, put back yes by Chisholm. Jai Chisholm with his first two came in averaging over 13 a game. That is our fifth tie, so we have a Foul on the floor. Fifth on Sulkahatchee. Both teams with five now. So Nasir Blackston to inbound it. Cam Oates in the corner to Vanderhorst down low. The bank is short. And rebound tip to Chisholm. Grayson Kirk, local product as well from Lancaster, South Carolina. We talked about the international players, a couple of good local products. And look at that move by Kirk. Gets around everybody. Sulk by two. Grayson Kirk's got six. Cam Oates, top of the key, over to Blackston. Tyrone Barbie into the game, not expecting it or a pass off the mark. Either way, it's a turnover for Brunswick. Dolphins won this tournament during the COVID season, which is technically 2020-21, but it was only played in 2021. Then Caldwell won in 22. Cape Fear won last year. Scoop and score as the bucket is good for Kirk. Grayson Kirk going to go to the line, try to complete an old school three point play. Cape Fear losing today. That means for the fourth consecutive year, actually the fifth consecutive year, we're going to have a new champion. No back to backs in this region. It is hard fought. That's going off Salkahatchee. They were trying to sell the official otherwise, but it will be Brunswick basketball. So both teams' biggest lead is four. Salkahatchee up by four for the second time here today with 6.22 to go in the game. Vanderhorst to Oates in the front court. Come on, Vanderhorst with six points to lead 
Brunswick. Boykin in the corner. Barbie from left of the lane. Turn around, Jay, no good. Cancella reaches out for another rebound. Kirk with Vanderhorst on him. Gets a screen, a three is an air ball, and it's saved by Chisholm. Grocott gets it to Kirk. Kirk, bank, no, Grant the rebound. Oates into the front court. Swings it out, Vanderhorst attacks, leaves it for Barbie who banks it. Beautiful offense. Barbie's first bucket for Brunswick and it's a two point game. Kirk, Grocott, Chisholm, Higgins for three. Not that time, hit his first one, misses his last two. Chisholm fading away, no. Another fight for the rebound. Salkahatchee was plus 12 on the glass in both previous meetings. And right now they are getting a lot of extra chance opportunities. Inbound to Chisholm in the corner. Cancella over to Kirk who attacks. Waits, can't score, and Jayla Grant pulls the rebound down. Dolphins trying to tie or take the lead here. Vanderhorst being hounded. Dribbles around trouble, attacks, no, but he's fouled. So Kevon Vanderhorst, first team all region, the lone all region member from the second seeded Dolphins team, which is interesting if you look at the year Jayla Grant had. Corey Carvey was injured, so you understand that, but. Salkahatchee has just one as well. First team selection for Nevada Higgins. But there's only two teams in the region. There's a first team and a second team as uh, Vanderhorst gets the first free throw to go. So really only 10 spots. Nakai Rivers is back in the game. Baxter also returns for Salkahatchee. As Vanderhorst gets them both, we are tied for the sixth time here today, 23 apiece. This one looking more like the first meeting, very low scoring. Defensive battle here in the first half of this one. Kinsella top of the key, guarded by Boykin. They get it down low to Baxter, had a shot blocked by Jayla Grant. Now Oates comes away with it, three on two. Oates the reverse, yes! Cam Oates has five, Brunswick up by two. What a competitive first half this has been. I had a feeling this was gonna be the game of the tournament maybe even. I knew, I had a, funny, I had a stronger feeling it was gonna be the game of the first round. So far it's lived up to that. Vanderhorst to Jaleb, turn around from the half circle, got it to go. Jaleb Grant's second bucket. Dolphins by four. No team is led by more than four here today. Corner three, Chisholm, yes, rims it in. Big bucket there for Salk. For Chisholm, he's got five now. Grayson Kirk leads him with eight. Von Vanderhorst also with eight. Top of the key, Boykin from downtown. Rebound by Baxter. Higgins goes behind the back, into the lane. He got fouled, uh, and they're gonna count the bucket. A little continuation. You don't always see that in the college game. It's the second lead change of the game. We have another timeout with 3.13 to go. Here in this first half, Salk is back up by one. Come join a campus that believes in you. We believe everyone can belong, that their passions can be shared, and their voices can be heard. We are open to new possibilities, and we encourage you to explore what's next in store. Come join a campus where the ordinary can become extraordinary. Who knows? College could be more than you ever expected. Be more. Be CBCC. 
Did you know North Carolina community colleges are not permitted to use public education funds for athletic programs? Without generous financial support, CVCC athletics would not be possible. Thank you to every sponsor, past and present, whose donations have opened doors for our Red Hawk athletes. CVCC is committed to excellence and we need your help to continue our athletic legacy. Scan the QR code on your screen to make a gift and become a sponsor today. Back to Catawba Valley as Navarta Higgins will try to complete an old school three point play. And he does, so six for Higgins. And Salka at you by two. Cam Oates and Vanderhorst playing hot potato as they break the trap. Oates. Dribbling around, hounding defense for Salkahatchee. Now Vanderhorst over on the far side with 12 to shoot. Inside three to play in the first half. Vanderhorst for three, no good. Jalen Grant, the offensive rebound, his putback is blocked. The throw ahead goes to Higgins. Nobody's back, slam dunk Higgins. The lead is four. We've traded four point leads now. Higgins matches Kirk for the high for their uh, respective teams with eight points apiece. Jaleb Grant, air ball, rebound Chisholm. And a triple goes down for Chisholm. Jai Chisholm with eight. Timeout, Brunswick. Thirty-four twenty-seven. Now the biggest lead for either team. Salkahatchee leads by seven. Prior to that, the biggest lead was four by both clubs. Six ties, two lead changes here in this opening half, but Salk on a run right now. Dolphins with two oh five to go in the half. Vanderhorst over to Oates for three. Missed it short. Nice box outs today by Salkahatchee. Baxter with a good one there. Down low, it's Perez in the game. Counted in the foul. Darcy Perez. The lead grows to nine for Salk. And a chance for the Indians to take the first double digit lead for either team here. Perez is a 67% free throw shooter. Gets that to go. Some changes for Brunswick. Rasheed Daniels is going to come in for the first time for Walter Shaw. Barbie will sit down with two points. So first double digit lead for either team. Vanderhorst over to Oates on the near side. Vanderhorst, Daniels, Grant, Oates, and Boykin, the five on the floor for the Dolphins. Vanderhorst bounce pass to Cam Oates, fakes the three, attacks, swings it out. Rasheed Daniels not expecting the pass. Dolphins not finishing this half strong. Salgahatchee is, though. They've built out a 10-point lead now. 
Michael Hayes Jr. will come in for Brunswick. Jaleb Grant to the bench. So Perez out there. Higgins remains in the game. Chisholm, Baxter, and Rivers, who's got the basketball. Higgins to Perez. And his pass is intercepted by Oates, who's fouled. Seventh team foul. Both teams in the one and one. So Cam Oates will go to the free throw line. Chris Shima, glad to be with you from the home studio in Ohio. You and I watching the Region 10 quarterfinals at Catawba Valley in Hickory, North Carolina. It's the seventh seed, USC Salkahatchee, leading second seed at Brunswick, 37 to 27. Cam Oates gets the bounce. A game that prior to the Salkahatchee run had been separated by no more than four points. Dolphins now trying to fight their way back from 10 down. Oates up to seven points. Vanderhorst leads them with eight. Three players for Salkahatchee. Higgins, Kirk, and Chisholm all have eight points apiece. Some hounding man pressure. Rivers gets around Vanderhorst, and then the back door wide open. Baxter slam dunks it. Baxter with six. Oates will back it out. 38 seconds to go until halftime. Over to Boykin for three. Hayes Jr. with the rebound. His put back no good. And Daniels got mugged. Good sportsmanship there from the Aussie, Darcy Perez. Where are those Aussies on the YouTube chat? Are they still asleep down under? Rasheed Daniels going to the line. Daniels on the season, a 68% free throw shooter. Australia is, I think, the country, if I didn't live in the United States, I would most want to live in. Everybody there just seems like they're fun. I'm sure that's not the case. I'm sure they're just like every other country. But it's just the impression I get that the Aussies are just, you're going to have a good time down there. Rivers into the forecourt. Last shot time now with the shot clock off here for Sulkahatchee. Rivers left of the lane. It's taken away another steal for Cam Oates. And then almost stolen back, Keziah Halsey bats into the game, picked it up, then he got fouled. So Keziah Halsey bats will go to the free throw line. It's not a bad guy to foul if you're Salkahatchee in that situation. Keziah Halsey bats is a 31% free throw shooter. He started a number of games down the stretch for Brunswick as they got hot. A great defensive player. All right, eight seconds to work with here for Salk. They get it ahead into the forecourt quickly. Perez puts it up, no. Put back at the buzzer, yes, it's gonna count. Tipped in by Chisholm after Baxter missed. And what a first half. As Jai Chisholm becomes the first player in double figures with 10 points, Salkahatchee closes the final 20 or the first 20 minutes strong, and they take their biggest lead to the locker room. 41 to 30, Salkahatchee by 11 as we take our halftime break. Where does education take you? Catawba Valley Community College offers premier community development and public services education. Train on industry standard equipment or take part in live scenarios with EMS and fire safety training. Our aspiring teachers can start their teaching degree with early childhood education programs. If you're a creative, come explore our cosmetology center where your aesthetic talents will go far. Apply now. Visit cvcc.edu to learn more. Change the game with your technical degree. At Catawba Valley Community College, you can go beyond the textbook and learn in the Innovative Workforce Solutions Complex. We have spaces for welding labs, automotive systems, computer integrated machining, 
advertising and graphic design, there's no limit to what's possible at Red Hawk Nation. It's time to earn your technical degree. Apply today. Visit cvcc.edu to learn more.
Welcome back to the Region 10 quarterfinals. Catawba Valley Community College. Chris Sheeman back here at the home studio in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Right now, the seven seed USC Sulkahatchee leading second seed at Brunswick 41 to 30. As we get ready for the start of the second half for Brunswick, leading scorer Kevon Vanderhorst with eight points. Cam Oates has seven. Also scoring in the first half, Jalen Grant with four, Bracy with three, Boykin also has three. Jalen, uh, I said Jalen Grant already. Nasir Blackston with two, Daniels with one, Barbie also with a couple. They go down low to Corey Carvey, who is scoreless here today. And he's going to go to the free throw line for Salkahatchee. Jai Chisholm tipped it in at the buzzer. He leads all scorers with 10. Eight points for Navarta Higgins. Eight points for Grayson Kirk. Justin Baxter has six. Makai Rivers with four. Three for Darcy Perez. Two for Jaden Cancella. As the first free throw is good. And Corey Carvey on the board. For the most part, this game was tight. We had six ties, two lead changes. Neither team was separated by more than four. Then Salkahatchee went on a tear late in that first half and pulled out to an 11-point lead. Now we're at nine. I mentioned it in the first game. Dolphins fans have heard me talk about it all season long. Oh, what a cut there. Beautiful ball movement. Chisholm with the slam dunk. He's up to a dozen. Jayla Grant answers right back for Brunswick. So Dolphins go quick to make it a nine-point game. But this is not your typical seven-seed playing a two-seed kind of a deal that you get in some of these tournaments. This region... I didn't know who was going to be a front runner in January, and I don't know even today outside of Cald Caldwell looked deadly today. I mean, they came in and handled their business. Spartanburg did the same thing, although that Cape Fear team hasn't looked right to me in the second half of the year. So I'm not as surprised about Spartanburg doing what they did today. But this is a game that in a lot of other regions would maybe even be a championship game. And this region is just so deep with talent that you're talking about a seven seed playing a two, but it's, it's really, it's a toss up. Vanderhorst the bounce pass to Jalen Grant. Blackston forced that shot up. Great defense there by Baxter. Then Jalen Grant rips it away and scores. Jaleb Grant starting to take over. He's got eight, and it's down to a seven-point lead. Nice start to the second half for Jaleb Grant. Rivers. Handoff goes to Kirk. In the corner, it's Chisholm for three. Yes, for Jai Chisholm. He's got 15 points. And the lead is double digits again for Salkahatchee. Boykin bounce pass to Grant on the block. Had his shot rejected. See if defense can turn to offense here for Salkahatchee. They're going to call a blocking foul. Bucket's no good. But it will be free throws for the Indians. Salkahatchee came in 17 and 13, 6 and 10 in the region, but they've won three straight and five of seven. Dolphins at 19 and 11, 11 and five in the region. They've won five of six. Dolphins had it not been for a couple buzzer beaters, might have been in play for that number one seed. They lost on a buzzer beater with .1 on the clock to Caldwell. Sincere Scott hit an incredible shot, just incredible. One out of two for Grayson Kirk, so he's got nine. Salk by 11. Vanderhorst had his pocket picked. 
teaming up Rivers and Kinsella. Then it's taken back by Vanderhorst, but he misses. Baxter the rebound. Rivers into the forecourt. Rivers left of the lane. Rejected by Jaleb Grant. Now Carvey into the front court to Boykin. Boykin hangs and scores. Boykin with five. Lead is nine for Salkahatchee. Rivers, Kinsella. Kinsella hesitates, attacks. In the corner, it's Rivers stepping inside the arc and too strong. Baxter the rebound, Baxter put back is too short. Boykin the board. Here comes Brunswick, Vanderhorst is fouled. Three fouls already on Salkahatchee in the first three minutes, 18 seconds of this second half. Winner of this game will play the winner of our nightcap. It's Wake Tech and Richard Bland in the semifinals. That semifinal game will be tomorrow at 6 p.m. All times approximate when you're talking about tournaments. Keep that in mind. Spartanburg Methodist takes on... Corey Carvey scores his first field goal to make it a seven-point game. Caldwell, and that'll be at 4 p.m. in our first semifinal. Kirk, left of the lane. Rebound by Boykin. Boykin looking to push. Vanderhorst to Carvey, and Carvey rims it in. So the big starting to get going for Brunswick. It's a five-point game. And we're going to get a timeout by Salkahatchee. Just inside 16 minutes to play in the game. Here come the Dolphins, the two seed, trying to make a rally here. Why choose Catawba Valley Community College? We help people create their future. Stay on track to earn your associate's degree in a place that challenges you and encourages your growth. You can also look forward to what's next with our co-admissions partnerships, which allow students to transfer from Catawba Valley to their next university. Apply today and reach new heights this spring. Visit cvcc.edu to learn more. Your healthcare degree begins at Catawba Valley Community College. Our popular Valley Sim Hospital is the perfect place to develop skills in nursing, respiratory therapy, radiography, surgical technology, and more. Explore health education opportunities at Catawba Valley Community College and apply today. You never know what's next in store. Visit cvcc.edu to learn more. It is 47 to 42. Salkahatchee's led by as many as 11. Dolphins have whittled it down to five, and it's been the bigs who have been a, no pun intended, big reason why. Jaleb Grant and Corey Carvey. Carvey was scoreless at the half. In the first four minutes, he scored six points. Jaleb Grant now is up to eight points. Dolphins fans, you know my kitty cat, Meepy. Well, it's a long day, so she's up on my lap right now. You wanna say hi to your fans? That's Meepy saying hello, I guess, in her own little way. It is Chisholm to inbound. See how Salk responds out of the timeout. Well, they tried to set up an alley-oop, and Jaleb Grant with some nice defense. Here's Boykin to the hoop, stripped. And I think we might have a foul called. Do we have another timeout? The first timeout should be the media timeout, guys. All right, we're going to take another timeout. We'll be back.
All right, in between these timeouts, some basketball will be played. 15.43 left to go in the game. We're just underway here in the second half in our third quarter final. Dolphins trying to come back from 11 down at the half. They've cut it to a five-point game. Inbound goes to Corey Carvey. Looking for the cutter, Jaleb Grant, and it's going off Jaleb out of bounds. Salkahatchee gets a stop out of the timeout. Chisholm has it left wing, gets it down low to Baxter. And the bank is too strong. Dolphins can make it a one possession game now. Nasir Blackston pull up, yes. Second bucket for Blackston. Dolphins now, it's a three point game. Rivers, Kirk, swings it out. Higgins back in for three, no good. Carvey had position, but unfortunately it's off him. So Salkahatchee will get another crack at it here. Extra possessions have been big today for Salkahatchee. They've really done a nice job on the offensive glass. Grant goes out. Tyree Bracey comes in. Bracey with three points in the first half. Higgins attacks, scoop and bucket. Marta Higgins now has 10. And an offensive foul gonna be called here on Brunswick. Walter Shaw not happy. Fourteen and a half to go in the game. Salkahatchee trying to build this lead back out. As we have a foul on the floor, if it's on Brunswick, it'll be their third. Both teams with three team fouls. Boykin picks up his second. Now Kirk to inbound it. Higgins out deep. Bounce pass over to Rivers. Extra pass, Kirk for three. Yes. Didn't even touch the net. Grayson Kirk is in double figures now with 12. And the lead is back to eight. Boykin tries to answer back, misses. Another three. This time it's blocked. Down low. The putback is good by Baxter. Justin Baxter with eight. And just like that, Salkahatchee responds. It's back to a 10 point game. Down low, Corey Carvey. See a defenders around him. He scores anyways. What a play. Corey Carvey now up to eight points. And we got a whistle. Not sure what the whistle was, but back to live action. Salkahatchee into the front court. Rivers out deep, it's Kirk. Catch and shoot by Chisholm, yes, 4-3. Salkahatchee matches its biggest lead. So Chisholm has 13 points. And the press for the Dolphins forces a timeout by Salkahatchee. We'll come back in 30 seconds.
Welcome back, everybody. Uh, 57 to 46. It's going to be Dolphins basketball out of that timeout. I uh, misspoke. So seven minutes into the second half, Dolphins with the basketball, but once again facing its biggest deficit down by 11. Bracey rockets it to Carvey, back out Oates, and he buries the three. Cam Oates is in double figures with 10. I mentioned his hot shooting of late on display right there. Eight-point game. Answering right back, no. Baxter misses the dunk. It comes to Rivers, and Rivers called for the charge. So Dolphins get a stop there. Dolphins trail by 11 at the half, 41 to 30. Cut it down to five, 47, 42. Now trying to whittle it down again. Oates. Bracey back to Cam Oates. Extra pass, nobody's on Vanderhorst. You can't leave him alone. Vanderhorst scores, he's got 11. Bad defense there by Salkahatchee. Five-point game again. Six-nothing run by the Dolphins. Here is Kirk trying to answer. Left it short, tips it up. No, tips it up again. Grayson Kirk with 14 for Salkahatchee. Vanderhorst and Oates against the trap. Cam Oates top of the key. So Salkahatchee has switched to a zone here in the second half. They played mostly man in the first. Ball swung into the corner. That three is no good. Rebound controlled by Kirk. 11.29 left to go in the game. Salkachi getting a couple of stops after Dolphins went on a 6-0 run. Now Kirk scoop and score. Grayson Kirk with 16. Vanderhorst nearest us. Boykin tip pass out to Oates for three. And it comes right to Higgins on the board. Hand off to Chisholm, now Kirk. Kirk got a screen, his three is off the back rim. Offensive rebound, Baxter. I mentioned it in our last game. In Region 10, you got to win to go to the national tournament. There's no at-large bids from our region or district. Kavon Vanderhorst off the turnover, hangs and scores. Vanderhorst with 13. And it's a seven-point game. As deep and competitive as this region is, we got a timeout. There are no at-larges, even for Caldwell. If they would lose in this tournament, that would end their season. So both teams with a lot to fight for down the stretch with 10-10 left to go. We'll take a timeout here as well. Come join a campus that believes in you. We believe everyone can belong, that their passions can be shared, and their voices can be heard. We are open to new possibilities. And we encourage you to explore what's next in store. Come join a campus where the ordinary can become extraordinary. Who knows? College could be more than you ever expected. Be more. Be CBCC. Did you know North Carolina Community Colleges are not permitted to use public education funds for athletic programs? Without generous financial support, CBCC athletics would not be possible. Thank you to every sponsor, past and present, whose donations have opened doors for our Red Hawk athletes. CBCC is committed to excellence, and we need your help to continue our athletic legacy. Scan the QR code on your screen to make a gift and become a sponsor today. The Ready, Set, Soar Open House is back at Catawba Valley Community College. At the CBCC Open House, you can explore degree programs that are fit for your unique goals. 
you can find your place in Red Hawk Nation. And while you're here, you'll be able to meet with college staff, discussing topics like financial aid, student resources, and how to make the most of a degree plan at CBCC. Last year was great. This year will be even better. Together, we can make your talents shine. Come to the CBCC Ready, Set, Soar open house on March 23rd. Welcome back, everybody. Salkachi basketball out of the timeout as we're uh, nearing the midway point of this second half. Indians by seven. Chris Sheeman back here with you. Not a lot of changes in this second half for Salkahatchee. Let's go inside, 10 to go. Chisholm, cross court. Kirk the bounce pass to Higgins. Shot clock winding down. Kirk's got to get one off. He does, just beats the buzzer, ball tipped. And another offensive rebound for Salkahatchee. What a rebounding effort today. They killed the Dolphins on the boards in the regular season. And that same story for Brunswick. We talked about it during the regular season. Just not a great rebounding team this year. Higgins beats the buzzer, banks it in. Are you kidding me? What a shot. Navarda Higgins. The Aussie at his season average at 13. Nasir Blackston answers back quickly, so he's got six. Salkahatchee in control by eight as we go inside nine to play in the game. Rivers has tipped, Higgins has it, back to Rivers. Extra pass, Rivers to Baxter, counted in the foul. Baxter in double figures with 10. Come on, Vanderhorst has three now for Brunswick. That's big news for their leading scorer. Lead back to 10 now. Salkahatchee can match its biggest lead of the game at 11. Corey Carvey is going to get looked at. He, I see him go off and go over to the uh, trainer. Looks like he just needs some, might be some blood on his jersey or something like that. It's a, it's a wardrobe thing. So they got to bring him out. Jaleb Grant will come in. Some changes now. I mentioned Matt Lynch riding with his starters. Now he will bring in some subs here as uh, Darcy Perez will come in. So Baxter at the line, trying to complete an old school three point opportunity. He does. Now he'll come out. Correction, it's gonna be Higgins who comes out. Tyler O'Neill coming in. Set the five for both teams here in uh, just a moment. Trap is on again for Salkahatchee. Once again, up 11. They've held firm against these Dolphins runs. Done a nice job as Brunswick's had a couple of six nothing runs wiped away. Bracey top of the key. Cam Oates, Vanderhorst, Jalen Grant, and Blackston. That's the five for Brunswick. Here's Oates for three. No good. Jalen Grant fights for the offensive rebound. He pulls up. Can't score. Blackston tries to tip it. No. Blackston again. Yes. Blackston makes it a nine-point game. 8.05 to go. Rivers, Cancella, Baxter. Ooh, might have gotten away with a step there. Justin Baxter. Baker's dozen for Baxter. Lead back to 11. Blackston, down low. Jaleb Grant can't score, but he's fouled. 15 foul on Salkahatchee. Foul number 23, second, we're going to go to another timeout. 7.39 left to go in this one. Salkahatchee maintaining its 11-point lead. 
It's time to redefine what it means to be a college student. At Catawba Valley Community College, Red Hawks do more than learn. They explore, embark, and excel. Take charge of your academics close to home. Seek new talents. Capture your degree from every angle. And build the education you've always wanted. When it comes down to it, why walk when you can soar? Raise your standards. Visit cvcc.edu to learn more. Discover the CBCC Alexander Complex, your gateway to college in Taylorsville, North Carolina. The CBCC experience knows no bounds. It's education that reaches you no matter where you are. With several associate degree programs and continuing education opportunities, you can unlock the full potential of Catawba Valley at the Alexander Complex. This is higher education close to home. Visit cbcc.edu to start your journey. everybody Chris Sheeman here with you and Jalen Grant at the free throw line for Brunswick who are up against it number two seed on the ropes down 11 right now need some free throws here for Jalen Grant who's had a nice second half he's up to nine points chance to get into double digits now Jalen Grant 12.7 points per ball game 67 percent at the line on the season oh, Wingate you're gonna love him trust me 69-60, Salkahatchee. This game started defensively. We kind of thought we were going to be in for what these two teams finished in their first meeting when Brunswick won at 66-63. Offense really picked up for Salkahatchee towards the end of the first half. Dolphins made a couple of runs here in the second half, trying to do it for a third time. Carvey with the steal, Blackston off the glass, he scores. Nasir Blackston is in double figures with 10. And it's a seven point game. So here come the Dolphins again. <laughs> Inside seven to go. Here's Rivers out deep with it. Seven to shoot now for Salk. Rivers had it poked away. Another steal for the Dolphins. Here's Vanderhorst. Yes. Vanderhorst with 15. Another 6 0 run for Brunswick. Does Salk have another answer? Excuse me. Kirk out deep. He'll go to the hoop. And he'll lay it up and in. Grayson Kirk with 13. Cam Oates can't get it to go. Jalen Grant put back yes. Jalen Grant with 12. Two possession game. This is right back about where we hope to be. Out deep, it's Kirk being hounded. Got around Blackston. And Kirk, a blocking foul going to be called. That'll be the fifth on Brunswick. We'll see if they give him free throws. It looks like it. Cam Oates is second. So both teams with five team fouls. Grayson Kirk, 18 points today for Kirk. 73% at the line this season, averaging just under nine points per game during the regular season. Averaging in March, seven and a half assists per ball game. He's tied for 45th in assists per game on the season with five. And he's 42nd in total assists at 139. 
Chance to salvage the trip after missing the first one, and he does. 14 for Kirk. Six point game. Again, the trap is on. Kirk went for the steal, now Blackston, and luckily for Blackston, that ball was kicked. He knew it too. He left that pass way too short. He'll inbound it. Cam Oates being hounded. Double team, got to get some help. Corey Carvey out deep with it. Shot clock at nine for Brunswick. Vanderhorst, Grant, Oates. Extra pass, Blackston, yes. It is a four point game. Nasir Blackston with 12. Inside five minutes to go. This one very much up in the air. Salkahatchee has led for the entire second half by as many as 11, but Brunswick staying right with them down the stretch. Kirk spinning in the lane, can't get it to go, but draws the foul. And he'll go to the free throw line. That is four fouls on Kavon Vanderhorst. A huge call there. And Walter Shaw with some decisions to make here. Looks like he's going to leave him out there. Higgins with 14 points. A correction, that's Kirk. So Kirk, excuse me, now has 20 in the game. Make it 21. Lead is six. He'll go to the bench as Darcy Perez comes back in. Higgins back in. Tyler O'Neill back in for Salk. So some defense and offensive subs here for Coach Lynch down the stretch. Blackston to Oates. Still a two possession game. Jalen Grant, oh. They're not gonna count the dunk for Corey Carvey. He was wrapped up immediately. Once that pass started to come. Blackston will inbound it. Both teams with 16 fouls. Much cleaner first or second half than the first half, but both teams on their way to the bonus, and now we do have Brunswick in the bonus here. Baxter picks up his third, and it's one and one time now for the Dolphins. Corey Carvey, 12 and a half points per game, almost eight rebounds a game, over a block a game this year. Shortened by injury, but Got that early offer and commitment to Moorhead State next season. Carvey gets the first free throw to go. Chance to get into double figures here if he can get this next one. Missed it short. Jaleb Grant is there. Everybody was standing around. Jaleb got it. Now. Carvey misses, so Dolphins with an opportunity come up empty twice, and then they foul O'Neal. A silly foul all the way at the opposite end of the basket. Nasir Blackston doing some talking, as is O'Neal. But that's a bad foul for Brunswick. So a one and one here for Tyler O'Neal. Another Aussie. 57% free throw shooter. It's a one and one. Yep, 
You know why I like watching the Australian basketball leagues, too, is because the uh, commentators actually know how to call a game a little better. You watch some of those European leagues, and they're calling it like a, it's a soccer game. I remember it was a four-point game with, like, two minutes left, and the announcer was acting like it was over. Like, yeah, four-goal soccer difference is massive down the stretch, but a four-point lead in basketball with two minutes to go is basically a tied game. We got another whistle. Oh, they're starting to come fast and furious now. So Dolphins are going to have another one and one here. Oh, I was hoping they wouldn't catch it. We got another media timeout. 3.55 left to go here in this game. We'll be back in just a moment. Where does education take you? Catawba Valley Community College offers premier community development and public services education. Train on industry standard equipment or take part in live scenarios with EMS and fire safety training. Our aspiring teachers can start their teaching degree with early childhood education programs. If you're a creative, come explore our cosmetology center where your aesthetic talents will go far. Apply now. Visit cvcc.edu to learn more. Change the game with your technical degree. At Catawba Valley Community College, you can go beyond the textbook and learn in the innovative workforce solutions complex. We have spaces for welding labs, automotive systems, computer integrated machining, advertising and graphic design. There's no limit to what's possible at Red Hawk Nation. It's time to earn your technical degree. Apply today. Visit cvcc.edu to learn more. Back to live action here at the Region 10 quarterfinals. Kavon Vanderhorst at the line. Front end of the one and one. Rims off. Higgins got the rebound. So Salk by seven. As we go down the stretch here, leading second seeded Brunswick, 76-69. O'Neal out deep with it. Top of the key, Higgins. He's hit some big shots today. Pass deflected off Baxter, who wasn't expecting it. Dolphins come up with the steal. Here comes Brunswick. Jaleb Grant for three. Yes! Here come the Dolphins again. 15 for Jaleb. Two possession game. Cancella being hounded, lost the handle, got it back, and then throws it out of bounds. How long is Matt Lynch going to stick with this lineup? Not long. <laughs> he read my mind. Here comes Kirk, here comes Chisholm, here comes Rivers. So your two primary ball handlers, and also Jai Chisholm, who's got 18 points here today. Four-point game, Cam Oates into the forecourt. Grant top of the key. Grant had it poked away. 12 to shoot for Brunswick. Here's Vanderhorst playing with four fouls. Down low, Carvey no, Carvey yes. Corey Carvey's got 11, it's a two-point game. Two twenty left to go. Dolphins trying to erase an 11-point deficit. Salkahatchee trying to hang on here. They need a response on this possession. Kirk gets a screen. It's around Carvey. Alley-oop, beautiful play to Baxter. Baxter with 15. Back to a two possession game, minute 50 left to go. Vanderhorst, Jaleb Grant on the wing. 
Corey Carvey in the lane, swings it out. Blackston's been hot today. Steps left, the three, no. Rebound by Baxter. Kirk into the forecourt, hesitates, drives, scores. Six point game. Answering right back, Vanderhorst. So Vanderhorst now with 17. Kirk has 23 in the game. He came in averaging nine points per game. And a two possession game. Hershima, glad to be with you from the home studio in Cleveland, Ohio, this Region 10 quarterfinal, living up to expectations. I said it before, but this could very easily be a championship game in this region. These two teams, Salkahatchee playing so well down the stretch, as is Brunswick. Spartanburg, who we saw earlier today, is now on six straight games. Caldwell looks like they're back to being Caldwell after slipping up towards the end of the regular season. Curious tonight to see what the three seed has in store for us. Wake Tech. It's their uh, first year at the D1 level. They were a Juco D2 for a long, long time. And with Spartanburg going four year, they moved up to take Spartanburg's spot. Inbound goes to Kirk. Two possession game, Kirk is trapped. Got it to Rivers. Two great ball handlers. Riches for Matt Lynch. Now here's Chisholm looking down low, pass deflected, gets it out to Higgins. 10 to shoot, Higgins calm. Now Salk's gotta get going. Chisholm with three. He attacks and he's fouled. Oh, you hold them for almost the full 30 seconds, but a foul there. Either way, no matter what happens with these free throws, it's a two-possession game. Most of you know that I am the broadcaster for Brunswick. And Dolphins fans, how many of these have we been in down the stretch this season? Nail biters, all of them seemingly. Jai Chisholm misses the first one. 76% free throw shooter. He's got 18 points today. Can put his team up by five. Boykin gonna come in. Grant goes out. Kavon Vanderhorst has done a nice job playing with these four fouls down the stretch too. He has played really smart basketball. Chisholm gets one out of two, so Salk's lead is five. USC Salkahatchee, 81, Brunswick, 76. 47 seconds left to go. What a quarterfinal this has been. Vanderhorst, Salk has not relented. Vanderhorst got a screen, his three is short. Carvey with an absolute R of a rebound, capital R on it. Boykin in the corner for three, no. Rebound by Baxter. And then it's poked away, but it trickles out. And I think we're gonna get a foul called. Kirk, right place, right time there for Salkahatchee. That is nine team fouls on Brunswick. So still a one and one. Grace and Kirk, what a game. Known as an, a, an assist man normally. 23 points here today. And he could put his team up three possessions. Right now it's still a two possession game. And it remains a two possession game. Dolphins know, gotta think about the three maybe here. They get it to Boykin, Vanderhorst will attack, Vanderhorst scoop and score, but if you're Salk, that's, you're fine with that. Still a two possession game, 13 seconds to go as we have a timeout. 
Possession arrow does favor Sulkahatchee with 13.4 seconds. Looks like this is going to be a full timeout. I'm going to take 30 seconds, and then I'll come back with you. All right, 13 seconds left to go. Salkaachi got to get it in. They can hit their free throws here. They should pull the quote unquote upset. It was nice talking to Matt Lynch, albeit briefly. We're not going to be blessed with his presence for very long, I can tell you that. He is. Uh, He's a guy who's going to go places. If the sports world will give him an opportunity, I guarantee <laughs> they will not regret it. Trap in the corner, and we have a foul called with 7.6. No, a timeout. But this is really difficult here. If you're Brunswick, you really didn't have time to trap. You needed to uh, foul quickly. Dolphins they got the trap, they forced the timeout, but you're talking about 7.6, uh, let's try this again. 7.6 seconds left, that's not enough time for two possessions. So if you're the Dolphins, you, you can't play around. You gotta foul immediately here. But just to finish the thoughts about Matt Lynch, as it looks like his team will move on here. Talk to him and uh, I mentioned uh, when Salkahatchee came to Brunswick, that uh, when I was in college, I was the student broadcaster for Kurt Miller's team at Bowling Green, and evidently Kurt and Coach Lynch are good friends, and uh, it's good to hear. It's it's good to see these opportunities happening in the world. And he's got his team balling right now. Don't get me wrong, I hope Matt Lynch is one of those guys who becomes a Walter Shaw who just loves Juco so much that we get him for 15 years. I just, he's a real good coach. It's, it's, it's going to be tough for us in this region to hang on to him much longer. So, Navarta Higgins with 13 points. He is fouled. That's 10 team fouls now for Brunswick. So two shots no matter what. Higgins, 69% free throw shooter. Either way, it's a two possession game. But 6.3 is tough for the Dolphins to get two looks at it because I Halsey bats out, Vanderhorst back in. If the Dolphins season does end today, hold their heads high. They fought hard down the stretch. So Higgins now with 15 points. Dolphins got to get a real quick three and then start praying to the basketball gods. Vanderhorst will bring it into the forecourt. Kavon Vanderhorst will hoist, come up empty, and with three-tenths of a second, that is going to do it. Salkahatchee is going to pull the upset, and they will move to the semifinals. USC Salkahatchee wins today 78-84 to 78 over the Brunswick Dolphins. What a game for Salkahatchee. They made that run towards the end of the half, and then they were able to hold off the Dolphins, who made a couple of nice comeback efforts. But Salkahatchee, like a veteran team, 
really responded nicely down the stretch. They get the victory. USC Salkahatchee 84 to 78. Dolphin season ends at 19 and 12 on the year. Another winning year under head coach Walter Shaw. Dolphins fans, I'll be with you again hopefully next year. Salkahatchee fans, I'm going to be with you again tomorrow. That's right. We got semifinal basketball for USC Salkahatchee. They'll play the winner of our nightcap. Between Wake Tech and Richard Bland, we're going to have that one for you in 20 minutes from now. So come on back here on YouTube. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.